Hello, everyone. This is George Ogorodnik with Zentech Consultants. And today we're going to talk about working with stamps in Bluebeam. So, stamps have their own uh, unique tool over here in, uh, in Bluebeam. And essentially, what you're doing when you're creating stamps is you're adding snippets of, uh, of other PDFs into your current PDF as markups. Now, we have a bunch of um, we have a bunch of templates for um, for stamps right here that are already uh, come pre-installed with your Bluebeam installation. And what you can do is you can add those into your drawing by clicking on them and then scaling them up. Now this is a markup, but this is also its own PDF. And you can later go and uh, and flatten this into your drawing and make this part of the PDF. Now, this is great and all, but I want to talk about how to create your own stamps so that you can customize this process and make your own um, uh, make your own PDF snippets to uh, to use. So we're going to go over here into the stamp tool and we're going to create a stamp. Notice over here we have change stamp folder. So the stamps by default are saved into a, a folder inside your Bluebeam directory. And that's where all of your PDF snippets for stamps are going to go into. So over here, we're going to pick the uh, the name of the stamp. And I'm going to call this. Um, so there were several approved stamps in there. And I want one that was approved by me. So I'm going to call this one approved by George. And I'm going to leave the rest of this as is. The width and height determines the size of the uh, of the original stamp. Just like when creating a new PDF, you can set the sheet size, you can set the original size of your stamp. Uh, default opacity and uh, rotation is set here. And we can also select the text color and the line color. So I'll set my text to be red, while my line color will be blue. Let's go ahead and create our stamp. So this takes us to a brand new PDF in the stamp creation environment. So as you can see, there's my uh, my stamp size. And if I chose the wrong size, I can go over here and I can resize my uh, my stamp template. And once I go here, I can work as if I'm working on any other PDF and add markups in here, uh, which will be used in my stamp. Essentially, what these stamps are, for those of you that might be familiar with CAD, these are Bluebeam's version of XREFs, adding other PDFs into, uh, into PDFs that you're working on. So let's go ahead and build our stamp. So I'm going to draw a line right across the middle here. And this is just your uh, regular markup tool. So let's go in our properties. I'm going to adjust my uh, my line width, make it thicker. And let's add some text. Now, when working with stamps, you can also add dynamic text, which is something that we'll talk about in just a moment. So let's go ahead and add a text box. So remember, we set our text color to blue, which is what the uh, the letters will come out as. And here we have the option to select dynamic text. This one will be static. We don't want this text to change with every new stamp I place. So this is just gonna be a static message stating that this drawing So let's shorten this here so that it fits into one line. I'm going to take out my initial there. There we go. So it looks like my text uh, color did not go through. So let's go ahead and uh, adjust that manually here. So there we go. So now that we've added this static field, let's go ahead and add our dynamic fields. Now, what dynamic fields are is you can add information that will change depending on which file you're using, depending on the time and the date and various other factors that could cause 
uh, these values to change. For example, we want the name of the user, we want the name of the file, we want the current date, the month in uh, in European format or in uh, uh, in four digit year format. So let's go ahead and add a dynamic date field, which will grab the date off of your uh, off of your computer every time this stamp is placed. So let's do that. And you can see what it creates is a, a dynamic reference. So we can go ahead and adjust the font size of this reference if it's too big, too small. And once we place this stamp, this um, ampersand symbol with the designator will be replaced by the date in the format that we selected. Now we can do the same by adding another dynamic uh, text box with the time. So we'll do time and let's go ahead and change the color for this one as well. So now I can go ahead and I can save this stamp. I can even just close it out and save. So let's add our custom stamp into my drawing here. So I'm gonna to go to the stamp tool and you can see there it is approved by George, which is the name of the file that I chose for my stamp. And let's go ahead and create my stamp. So there's my stamp, it's a markup, and you can see that the date and time fields have been dynamically changed to the current date and time. And you can treat this as any other markup. You can rotate this, you can change its opacity, make this slightly transparent. I'm gonna make this 60%. And you can do all sorts of things with stamps. You can have text stamps. You can have graphic markups as stamps. You can use uh, you can uh, use images that became markups as stamps. For example, you, if you have an image of your handwritten signature that you want to use as a stamp on your drawing, you can add all of those to your stamp PDF uh, environment and then save it as a stamp to be able to. Uh, bring it in from the stamp menu. I hope you enjoyed my little presentation and I hope you'll check out our website at zentechconsultants.net for uh, a full list of uh, our services and support for Bluebeam Review as well as others. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.